water at home. Um, it's a lot that we got to talk about this Monday morning. And I hope I can fit it all into my chit-chat before I get to work. Okay? Um, yeah. The weekend was a good, good, good. I had a good weekend. Um, the baby shower went good. It was a success. Um, I know someone had asked me. I haven't had a chance to go and answer any questions. It's my baby boy who is having the baby. Not the one who has Princess Jewel, but the baby boy. It's like they're tit for tat. Like, okay, you got one now, I'm going to get one, okay? They didn't give me a chance to spoil Princess Jewel. So, I've been talking about this for a while, so I guess I don't know. Anyway, that's the answer to the question. It's my baby boy, okay? So... It went well. They got a lot of nice gifts and things. It went well. Um, I posted pictures on Instagram and Facebook only of so, a couple of things. Of the cake and the diaper cake I did. I, it actually turned out better than I thought. It's not perfect. It needs work. It needs work. And I got so frustrated with it, I didn't even take time to stick the other stuff. You know how sometimes they stick other items in the diaper cake, like the rattles and the baby bottle. You know, stuff like that. The, um pacifiers thing I didn't even do that okay I stuck the bottle brush in and that's what I held the little washcloth up on with I was like if this thing fall apart again it was already late and I was trying to do it I was up late and I'm like okay I gotta get this done because I gotta go to bed because I gotta get back up early in the morning okay so I was tired I really was I didn't Saturday night I did go out and finish the Nivea deal because I was thinking that the deal was over with Saturday when the sale ends was actually it was a monthly deal but I'm glad I did go ahead out and do it though because now I can do it on my other cars I got happy I'm like yay now I can get my other I can utilize it on my other cars because it is an excellent deal okay with the Nivea you, they were on sale for um five ninety nine I think yeah five ninety nine for the big bottles okay the big bottles and um, you buy four of those, you buy four, you use two of your five off of um, two, which will take $10 off. You wind up with 13 and some change. If you have ECBs, you can roll those and spend less out of pocket. It would be excellent, okay? I had actually, and I didn't realize that I had like $12 worth of ECBs, so my first order I only pay like um three dollars and some change that's with my tax in it i pay like three dollars and some change because it came to 15 and some change with tax i pay like three and some change and then i um the next day i went back and rolled um because i've done the deal two times so i went back and rolled um the twenty dollars i had into some more and only pay like three four and some change it was this a good deal for nivea lotion okay i think it worked out where you were paying like um 99 cents a bottle when you um, think about the ECB that you'll get back if you didn't have something already rolling to it okay so yes I did that the weekend and I did some more diapers on Friday um, at CVS um, the Pampers deal but that's it okay now one thing I want to talk about I'm sorry I'm rushing because I feel like maybe I should just wait and do it all tomorrow but Y'all know me. I'll be forgot what I want to talk to y'all about, okay? One thing I wanted to talk about that I have been seeing on Instagram, because yesterday I was lazy. I did not go out and do anything. I did not leave out of the house for anything. So my meal prep for this week is not, eh, didn't do it, because I didn't go out and go to the grocery store to buy the things that I wanted to do, okay? So I will probably talk to you guys, because I'm going to go to the grocery store this afternoon, and I'll do a video about my weight loss and um, what, what my plans are to move out from here on, okay? Because I did gain a pound this week, and I knew I would. I was thinking I was going to gain more than that, because I did nothing right this weekend, nothing whatsoever, okay? But I did want to talk to you guys. It's on a coupon subject, and I mean, I've been seeing these ridiculously high amounts for this caress coupon and you know i hope if i have some newbies watching my channel i hope i do <laughs> please do not pay these ridiculous amounts 
for what they're charging for these Caress coupons or any high dollar coupon when they come out. You know, I know sometimes you feel like, oh, it's, it's just a $2 off of one. There's going to be some deals coming out. So what? Use what you got in your paper and try to make that work for you because are you actually saving money when you're paying like $30 for what? 10 to 20 coupons they charging like $30 I think I saw I mean ridiculously high amounts for these coupons on eBay and you know it it should not be that way you guys you should the whole point of couponing is to save money and if you're not saving money then what's the point you know you might as well go pay full price off of the shelf for it so you know I just wanted to say that you know, don't feel like just because it's a high dollar coupon and you know it'll be a good deal somewhere for it, will it actually be a good deal after you purchase those high dollar coupons and have them shipped to you? Is it worth it to you? I mean, you know, if you feel like it's worth it to you, then get it. But I mean, sit down and actually tally out the cost of these coupons, the cost of what it's going to cost you, what you're going to be getting back if there's any store rewards offered and see how much you're actually saving and a lot of times we have enough body wash in our stockpile we don't need to add any more you know so let it be a excellent deal when you're adding these things on to your stockpile or if you're trying to build a stockpile wait deals come all the time i'm telling you caress we know just ain't been too long last month sometime there was a wonderful deal on it so um just think it through before you go out and feel like you need to get this deal you need to get these coupons because they will come around again okay and that's all I always want to say about that because when I saw that I'm like oh I'm like I'm hope none of my subscribers um, are purchasing these I hope they don't feel the need to purchase these because we can get body wash for cheap to nothing you know but like I always say whatever you want to pay for it then you pay for it don't let somebody else tell you what to do but what i'm saying is the point of couponing is to save money and if you're paying all this money for this coupon what are you saving okay so you might as well pay full price gone and get it off the shelf at full price because you haven't benefited any paying all this money okay yeah okay y'all understand what i'm saying and um what else was I going to talk about besides the coupons? It was one more. Oh, yeah, I was going to add in the weight loss stuff. And I said I would do another video for that. So, because it's going to take a while to go over <laughs> some of the things that I want to do. I I will talk some about it. Um, yeah, I was watching. I was on Instagram and I was directed to a channel. It's called Natural Nicole. She has a blog site www.naturalnicole.com I think is what it is yeah on Instagram she's natural Nicole and she does a lot of natural hair speaking and things and I didn't realize that um, I think she's in like the Maryland area or whatever but natural hair ideas plus healthy eating yeah she has lost I think 60 pounds eating natural and I think um that's what I'm going to try to do. I think that would be best for me. And then she, she even tells you about setting goals and limits for yourself. Don't set goals that you know you're not going to keep. And, um, or be able to keep. And, you know, she did not exercise because she said she knew that she would not be able to make it to the gym. And, you know, do a heavy workout routine. And most of her exercise was walking she said in the mall jokingly <laughs> yeah so it was um funny what she said you know it's kind of funny i thought you know i'm like okay old knees wall walking for me <laughs> but i'm gonna still try to do some working out i'm not giving up totally on working out because i like to work out you get that rush when you work out so i'm gonna still try to work out but um yeah but it's like healthy eating it's monday through friday it's um, kind of vegan only. And she does like the meatless chicken, the meatless beef, you know, um, those things. So 
to incorporate and her meals look actually good they look wonderful and i looked at the pieces she had made and the um like the stir fries and you know veggies veggies veggies, veggies is what she was like what she had done and they actually look good so i'm going to try to do some of these meal preps for myself um you know, I'm not going to try to prep much because I don't want to get bored with my meal. And I think that's what happened when I was meal prepping before. I was tired of eating the same thing all week long. So I'm going to try to learn how to condense and cook just for maybe two days of meal prepping. And then cook something for dinner and meal prep for two more days. And that's how I think I'm going to try to make it through my week to ration it out. Or I'm either going to meal prep for my lunches and then for dinner... I will prepare like something, you know, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I want to mix it up. I'm not going to do two different separate meals um, of meal prepping and then pool. So we'll see how it goes. But that's my plan is to meal prep tonight. So I'm going to go to the grocery store and get some things and um, and look you know for some different type of things so i can try to um spruce up my meal plan and if i feel like i can get that eating down right then i will you know and then on the weekends she would have like her meats or whatever that she wanted but i think i'm going to do i'm going to try to do um the veggies only um monday through saturday and then on sunday maybe a sunday dinner would be a meat or something like that added in and i'm going to see how that goes because i'm i, I i'm I'm trying to find something that works for me. And as we all know, with weight loss, that's what we have to do. We have to keep working at it until we find the right fit for us. And now I am years out, like three plus years out from like, you know, I'm three, no, I'm three plus years. I'm almost four years out from my gastric bypass surgery. Am I four? Yeah. What am I? No, I'm three years out. Am I three? I had it in 2011. Yeah. So I'm three and a half years out from my gastric bypass surgery. And, you know, we know now that it's to the point where the surgery is not working. It's pretty much going to be me on my own now. And, you know, I'm not feeling like, oh, I got to do something else. I got to do something else. You know, and I was stressing about that because I felt like, oh, maybe I should try this new ACE thing that's coming out. Or um, maybe I should do the wraps. And maybe later I will do the wraps after I lose the weight so I can tighten up. But right now, no, I need to get my eating under control because what's the purpose of not eating right, not eating healthy and doing the wraps? It's not that. I got to get that down pat first before I can move forward with the next step that I want to do. Okay. So that's my plan now is to find a perfect fit for me. Something that I can live with. Something I can enjoy. You know, not like, oh, it's another diet or whatever. It has to be a healthy eating choice. And it's got to be something I can live with. Something that I want to do. You know, so... Um, I feel like I got this opportunity to have gastric bypass surgery. I've lost over 100 pounds. I picked some of those back up. And I don't want to lose what I've already gained so far. So, you know, I, I, I refuse to... Um, I'm still over 100 pounds because my highest weight was 331. So, I'm still over 100. But I had lost some before my surgery. So, anyway, um, I don't want to lose what I've... I don't want to gain back what I've already lost. You know, I want to keep moving forward. So I have to find what fits right for me as a healthier lifestyle. Um, yeah, so that's my plans with that. But like I said, when I do my meal prep, I'll do a little bit more talking about what I learned from her blog post. I just got so into it and so thrilled with it that it was excellent. And